Life coaches are frauds. Hey, credos. Do you have life coach problems? The problem is life coaches are frauds most of the time. Have you seen a gazillion YouTube, Instagram, Facebook advertisements promoting the latest and greatest charismatic personality ready for you to hire him or her to coach you in becoming amazing at some particular aspect of your life or maybe even for your whole life in general? I'm here to tell you, save your money. There's a sad truth you need to know. Life coaches are frauds almost all of the time. And there's one main reason and one cure. Coaches are almost always only qualified to coach in things they have a real expertise in, as in real personal expertise, meaning they've already done the thing that they're gonna coach you in. Have you ever seen a program promising to help you become a New York Times number one best-selling author, but the person coaching you only became a best-selling author selling the book about how to become a best-selling author? How about that person who's going to teach you to become a millionaire? but the way he or she became a millionaire was by getting people to sign up for the program, teaching them how to become a millionaire? What about that massive YouTuber who's gonna teach you how to become a massive YouTuber but only became a massive YouTuber by telling other people how to be a massive YouTuber? If the only way the person succeeded at the thing they're claiming to coach you in was by coaching people doing it, a really circular route, if you know what I mean, they probably don't have the real life expertise to help you achieve dreams they couldn't achieve themselves. See what I'm saying? There are a handful of exceptions. The biggest, no pun intended, and best example I can think of is Bella Caroli. He's the former Romanian gymnastics coach who defected to the United States. He's also the guy who coached the first perfect 10 gymnast, Nadia Comaneci in the Olympics. Remember that one? As far as I can tell, Caroli didn't compete in gymnastics himself. And if he did, it certainly wasn't nearly at the level he coached. But in this case and some others, coaching a particular thing is a skill of its own. As a former singer and voice teacher, I can tell you that sometimes those with only a moderately high personal skill level still can have an incredible ability to teach that skill to others and to teach them beyond even their own capacity. Most of the time, however, I'd only trust advice from someone who'd actually achieved what he or she is teaching. I wouldn't take financial advice from a broke person, and neither should you. If you're tempted to get a life coach, make sure it's someone who's actually created the kind of life you'd actually want to have. Not just someone who signed up with some company that grants them life coach status and gives them some program to sell you. Mentors who are ahead of you on a path you actually want to be on yourself are amazing but coaches who are just selling you something are usually just the blind leading the blind. So don't get suckered. If you are on a midlife makeover journey like I am or any other creative life-changing journey, see if you can find a mentor to help you. If not, check out the link in the blog in the description below. On that blog, I will link to some of my favorite resources which are really just books from people who do have that expertise. So what do you think of life or skill coaches? When have they really helped you? And when have they been a big flop? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe and ring that notification bell if you want to join me in thriving in midlife. You can also follow along on Instagram at Midlife Credo. I actually posted this week, so that's progress. Don't forget to join the Midlife Tribe on Facebook too, where we are thriving midlife without the crisis. Now you go out and have a week full of real progress.